I used to like Rob. It pains me to reveal all of this. No, it doesn't. Everything you've just outlined is private information. Potentially private information. If it's even accurate. If it is accurate, that makes you a shitty person. That doesn't make, that doesn't make you a victim. <laughs> it doesn't make you anything. It makes you a shitty person that revealed private information. None of that <laughs> should have been released to the public. None of it. Here we are. And um, we are going to be covering a video by Rebzilla. I have come to an epiphany very recently. Um, when it comes to covering other creators and covering drama and all this sort of stuff, I find that the popular thing and the thing that gets a lot of views is when two creators go at each other, you know, and when they like, you know, <coughs> they have beef, you know what I mean? Um, <coughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, when they have beef and it's like not roast beef. I have a story about a roast beef sandwich I had recently, which was not super great. But that's that's besides the point. What I'm talking about is beef. Like, YouTuber beef. When two big YouTubers have beef. And um, it just ends up being really toxic and not very productive. So, I'm going to try a new thing. Um, basically, <laughs> I called out Ripzilla a couple of days ago. Um, regarding his video uh, on Rob Gavigan, um, who is someone that I honestly don't know a lot about. And I think that is why it's important to really assess these types of videos and, and w the type of effect that it has on perception. So you could be watching Robzilla's video, right? And it could be your introduction to Rob Gavigan. And you might not know a lot about Rob Gavigan, and I don't. Um, but already, <laughs> I, after looking online for like five minutes, I can already see there's a lot of uh, worrisome things at play here. Uh, some slander, um, just some real stretches of the imagination. And I think that's... I think that's th something I have a problem with, <laughs> obviously, as someone who's objective. I just spilled coffee everywhere. Why do I record? Like, what was, what was my decision to record after eating? I'm always sort of just like, so where am I? Oh. Um, that's okay. Crisis averted. So we're going to be watching this video and going through it and sort of identifying what I would describe as problem areas. Um, this is criticism. Uh, this is not hate towards Repzilla, although um, it was very disappointing when I, I probably came on a little bit strong. Uh, I did call him out pretty directly and uh, Repzilla did block me on Twitter. Um, so that's fine. <laughs> Instead of engaging with him directly um, and, and sort of calling out the things that he's saying, uh, we can call out things he's saying in his video. Just on public record. Which is important to do because Ripzilla does have a long history, um, a well-known history of deleting content um, when it doesn't fit the narrative, as we saw with Leafy Greens and the gentleman that did research for him, which he ended up calling the Mistalker after they simply asked for credit. For credit in Repzilla's video for the research they were doing for over a year. But, you know, that's another time and another video. But it is very interesting to look up these different people and look at the persona they put out online and also uh, the judgment, <laughs> the amount of judgment they can have for other people um, when they themselves are not perfect. We are, no one is perfect here. Um, 
In fact, I used to be a Repzilla. I used to be a version of this. Um, and that will never change. Like, I will always have that past of being um, someone who made video after video after video after video, basically just trying to break someone down. And it's not right. It's not right. <sighs> Some people deserve it. <laughs> but it's not right. So, anyway. Let's have a look. And let's try and not mock his southern accent. <laughs> because <laughs> every time he talks, I'm just like, oh my god, it's Rapzilla. Um, <laughs> it does not sound like him at all. Hmm. He is, like, uh, one thing I have noticed about his videos is every single one has fundraiser on it. What is he fundraising? Literally every video is a fundraiser. What is he fundraising for? <laughs> it's a bit strange. Um, also, he has 185,000 subscribers, and... He's only getting 43,000 or so a video. Well, 43,000 on this video. Look, I can't talk because uh, my last couple of videos didn't even break 1,000 video, 1,000 views. And I have uh, upwards of 25,000 subscribers. So I can't really talk, can I? Um, I just think it's interesting for an established creator with a check mark uh, to be having that little go out to his own community is it's kind of interesting anyway let's get into it i'm not gonna wait any longer <laughs> ominous music hey welcome back into hey <laughs> we're talking about abuse of power <laughs> Very strange, very strange, and I oh, it always, it always just irked me when people try and come on and be lighthearted when <laughs> they're about to like literally try and destroy someone's life. Um, it, this should be a somber video. This should not be like a <laughs> like it should be something like that. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think it's a bit awkward. Day's video. Rob Gavigan. You guys might know him. He does the true crime stuff. Rob Gavigan. You might know him. <laughs> you might know. Um. Stuff on YouTube. Well, there's a situation involving him that absolutely no one is talking about. It's there's a situation with a random Twitter account. Someone else coming out with accusations that are completely unfounded. There's no evidence to back any of this stuff up. It's literally just conjecture. But we're going to roll with it. And just put Rob's name on it and just be like, yeah. <laughs> if I say alleged, it's, it's, it's totally fine. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Hello, iconic Dawson. How you doing? Hope you're doing well, sweet pea. <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's honestly amazing. It's an alleged abuse of power. Apparently he's being accused of cheating on his wife with several girls from the internet while he was keeping his wife and family a secret and just generally lying. This is not a good situation. And if you're <laughs> This is not a good situation. And he's like, um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, oh, yes. No problem, Iconic. <laughs> Much love, sweetheart. Good morning, Sarah. It's just, he's like, cheers. We've hit pay dirt. <laughs> Unfamiliar. Google says that Rob Gavigan, formerly known as Rob Dyke, is an American YouTuber and internet personality. Rob has two series. It's, it's doing research, you guys. <laughs> oh, God. He's doing research. It's called Seriously Strange, and why would you put that on the internet? Both horror, true crime, and comedy based, respectively. He's currently 33 years old. He has a YouTube channel of over 3. And you're 29. 1.1 million subscribers. The girl that first told me about this reached out on Instagram. I'm going to keep her anonymous. Hi, I just wanted to. <laughs> I'm going to keep her anonymous. Great. Great. Keeping your sources anonymous. That's, that's great. 
I love this culture of people just being anonymous, making accusations, and YouTube just allows it. They just allow people to, like, basically slander other people and, and take shots at their character without any evidence. Like, there's no status quo. There's no rules. It's the Wild West. Jim West. Desperado. And it's... <laughs> It's fine, I suppose. I suppose. Um, and look, here's the thing. Some people are douchebags. Some people cheat on their wife. Some people are in polyamorous relationships. Some people are in open relationships. Some people want to keep their family private to, correct, to, to protect them. Um, there could be a number of things at play here um, that can easily be twisted one way or the other to form a narrative, to create a compelling narrative that people are going to click on, um, that's going to generate revenue for Repzilla. Um, who, <laughs> I mean, if you look into his past, he's been exceptionally manipulative, um, <laughs> particularly with how he approached Leafy Greens. Quite, quite predatory in, in the way, that I don't use that term lightly, obviously, in the way that um, he very tactically chose her uh and if you don't know who uh leafy greens is uh they are a youtuber that talks about their mental health and um they they struggle with mental health and uh Rizilla very clearly and very obviously took advantage of them um and shared their private information docs them all that sort of stuff but look it's it's fine there, there are so many scenarios, is what I'm saying, uh, when it comes to Rob Gavigan and his private life. And a random account that you can just say is a girl, one of your sources, when it very easily could be just you creating an account and creating a scenario. It doesn't fly, and it's not going to fly, and, and I'm going to call it out. You can't, you can't go in half cocked. You know what I mean? You can't go in half cocked because you want to make an expose. You want to make heaps of money off it and get heaps of views and make heaps of AdSense. You can't just do that. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you I suppose you can because you're doing it. But obviously, m my standard is is that you would wait. Um, if you really cared about this situation, you really wanted to bring Rob Gavigan down and expose him, then you would wait for actual fucking evidence. But you're not. You have anonymous sources and DMs, which can't be verified. So it's, as I, as I said, it's cancel culture. It just keeps going. <laughs> I feel like the spell is starting to break a little bit. I don't know if that's my feeling. Like, I feel like the spell is starting to break a little bit where people are starting to see through this stuff. I don't know whether it's just because I have a community around me that, I mean, I can see they, they kind of align with this thinking. But yeah, it's, it's very concerning that a lot of these videos come out. Well, it looks like, I mean, the amount of views that he's getting now, maybe that's, maybe that's the case. I mean, I became a lot less popular once I started calling out the videos that I became popular from. The types of videos, anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, just mulling. <laughs> Make you aware some that have come up about YouTuber Rob Gavin. We're censoring allegations. That's interesting. See, I said it in, the, in my live stream. Allegations interesting he really wants to make money from this <laughs> whereas i'm i'm just doing this for fun if i do make money from it hooray if i don't we're just having fun aren't we <laughs> arrogant <laughs> exactly iconic <laughs> abigail I have my own experiences with him and would be happy to share my story with you. I really do think it's something you should look into because it's a horrible situation. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and Repzilla 
is well aware and, and well versed in horrible situations. He's got a few of his own. Sorry, just now seeing this, can you tell me more about it? I was a fan of his back when I was 15 to 16 years old and I was really obsessed. He eventually started to notice me and proceeded to follow me. He's got a real thing with like doxing people, I've noticed too, Rebs. They're like, there are multiple instances of him just releasing private information. Um, to the point, like, he was part of that whole Poppy and Mars Argo community where people were making video after video after video about Poppy, Mars Argo, and the other guy releasing private information on them, doxing them, all that sort of stuff, to the point where there is an actual petition <laughs> to stop him from making those videos. I don't know if he makes, so like, as I said, this is kind of my quasi uh, introduction to Repzilla because I've seen clips here and there. Um, obviously I've seen the clip of him, uh, Nicholas Diorio and Edward's generation talking shit about me in a live stream because I decided to stop talking about Anision and they were just like, oh my God, yeah, he'll never get anywhere now. It's just like, okay. <laughs> so that's the thing. It's, it's, yeah, it's interesting. That was my introduction to Repzilla, and my, what an introduction. Delightful. <laughs> the, the, the blog is here. Hello, B. Friend of the channel. How are we going? on Twitter and Instagram and then eventually added me on Snapchat. We spoke back and forward for years, but he always used to disappear for three to four months at a time. And I never really knew why. He always said it was to do with his mental health. He never asked me for inappropriate images or anything, but he used to reply to my Snapchat stories and Instagram stories with hearts or saying, Oh my God, he used love hearts. Run away. Hey guys, I'm going to use a love heart in the chat. Oh, that's the wrong. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, no, I'm cancelled. <laughs> there it is, guys. Love heart. <laughs> Love heart. Okay. That's enough of that silliness. Okay. Yep. All right. I was pretty or something along those lines. He was always really flirty with me and things a lot. And we did speak about and th He's a man and he flirted? Disgusting. There we go. Male flirts with prospective other female. <sighs> Call the police. <laughs> Things like that, but I was about 18 to 19 by then. And I really didn't think anything of it, but looking back now, thinking about the age gap and the power dynamic, it's also awful. We used to send sna- <laughs> <laughs> The age gap and the power dynamic. <laughs> Here's the thing. Like, yeah, this stuff absolutely 100% exists absolutely does grooming exist absolutely does uh a power imbalance and our unfair power dynamic in a relationship exist absolutely is it always legitimate i have i have doubts especially in the day and age of social media or where anyone can just come out and say look i was in a relationship where there was an unfair power dynamic <laughs> it's like okay great so, what are we supposed to make of this? Oh, we have to side with the woman because women are always right in these scenarios. That's the thing that we're being taught at the moment. I mean, but then we look at the Johnny Depp situation and we're like, oh, <laughs> so we can't always trust women. My rule with this sort of stuff is like, oh, we can't always trust people. That's how I like to phrase things, you know. Uh, are men and women universally different? Uh, yes, like completely different. But at the end of the day, they are people. And if we're going to address them, yeah, you know, you get what I'm saying. What I'm saying, though, is that people lie. <laughs> people bullshit. People lie, especially in social media. And if this is actually a girl that's reaching out to Rebsilla, um, and he is planning to make a video with his huge platform, um, that's an unfair power dynamic. Now, in, the, in this case, Rob Gavigan can probably uh, defend himself because he's a much larger creator.
But it wasn't the ca- the case with Leafy Greens or I can't remember the guy who used to do research for Repzilla that he threw under the bus um, that only had 3,000 subscribers. Um, and all he asked for was credit and um, was pretty much relentlessly bullied uh, by Repzilla and gaslighted and uh, blackmailed and all sorts of things. There's, the evidence is all out there. <laughs> it's all out there. But what I will say is just like, it's very interesting to see Rebzilla talking about unfair power dynamics when he is basically guilty of creating some of these scenarios. The guy's name is Marcy. Yes, I forgot the name. I was just like, what's his name again? Marcy. So he used to do research for Rebzilla, and Rebzilla completely threw this guy under the bus after a year and started calling him Stalker. Which is really, <clears throat> can I just say, it reminds me of Venetian. And I don't want to say that lightly because I understand what it is to be compared to Venetian because I've been compared to Venetian. It's like <clears throat> the ultimate insult. <laughs> but it, it happens, you know? It happens. But yeah. We can't, we, I, as much as I want to believe victims, we can't always believe victims, especially in social media. And we can... The real tragedy here is that we we can't believe victims like we used to because of people like Repzilla. We can't do it. We can't do it because of these these channels, these expose channels. We can't really we we can trust it less now thanks to these channels. Because they've created an avenue. Uh and a way of generating, whether it be cloud or fame or, or attention or whatever the vice is, <clears throat> they've created like a platform for that. And Mr. Maxwell is here. Hello, darling. Not the online kangaroo courts. That's where we're at, Jackie. Snapchat videos back and forth as well. She also showed me some alleged screenshots from Rob to- <laughs> There it is again, that word alleged. See, if we say alleged uh, before we say something that could be inaccurate, it means we're allowed to say whatever we want. <laughs> Allegedly, I am a millionaire. <laughs> All about manifesting, guys. One of her friends. Rob saying, first of all, happy birthday, you darn angel you. How old are you now? 17, 18? The girl says, oh my god, hello, I'm 17. Where did you go? It's my birthday. Well, him asking that question could very well be, are you overage? <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> That's not so much a grooming question as it is, uh, is this conversation going to be appropriate? Hey. In this screenshot, she says, I truly believe it is now. Thank you for everything. I'm just so grateful. He says, as am I. You have a special play. Screenshot, she says, I truly believe yeah, you. How old are you now? 17, 18? Hello. The girl says, oh my God, hello, I'm 17. I am 17. Where did you go? It's my birthday. In this screenshot, she says, I truly believe it is now. Thank you for everything. I'm just so grateful. He says, as am I. You have a special place in my heart and you always will. Right? Okay, that doesn't mean it's sexual. It's just... Right back at you. You're amazing. One of my favorite people in this whole world. Nah, again, back at you. I'm so proud of you. You've really come so far. Not just me seeing what you've written, such as your poetry. It's really lovely to see. I'll always support you. She goes on to say that none of them knew that he was married and had a child, and they were all around 15 to 16 years old when they began speaking to him and haven't heard from him now for over a year. I just want to clarify that he never personally asked me for any inappropriate images. But he was... Okay, well, what's the problem then? Very flirty, and he made a lot of things like he did with a lot of other... Okay, so he was flirty. Like, define flirty. (laughs) Define flirty and sexual. The girls. Alleged abuse of power. It may have happened, it may not have happened, but fuck it, we're making a video anyway. (laughs) Fuck you, Rob Gavigan. (laughs) Abuse of power. Allegedly. (laughs) <laughs> We're not going to establish that this is true. We're just going to throw you under the bus. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Don't worry. <laughs> the situation that we're going to be talking about today comes from an illustrator artist on Twitter. The situation that we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> uh, I haven't quite got it, have I? Let's not. 
Not quite right, is it, darling? Named Jupus. Jupus posted a Jupus! Hello, Jupus! <laughs> that's not a... <laughs> that's not an alias at all. That's her birth name. ...about today comes from an illustrator artist on Twitter named Jupus. Jupus posted a tweet longer on April... So... Jupus... <laughs> Jupus... And I'm not saying that any of this is untrue. I'm just saying that it might not be true. That's all I'm saying. It could be true, but it might not be true. April 30th, detailing the abuse of power. I wanted to verify that Jupus and Rob actually did work together. Here's a 2017 post saying we're excited. We're excited to know that at Jupus is returning to do artwork for Seriously Strange to announce Jupus is returning to do artwork for Seriously Strange. His YouTube fandom says that way back in February 2014 when he started Seriously Strange that Jupus did the artwork on that series. Here's a 2015 post of him promoting Jupus's artwork on his Facebook page. Not to mention- Jupus could not possibly be after clout, could they? <laughs> not at all. Not at all. That couldn't be possibly what, you know, what they could be after that he's still one of Jupus's supporters on Patreon. When Jupus came out with their story on Twitter detailing the events that took place, it was followed by several other young girls who came out with their own stories about Rob. You can pause to read the whole twit longer. Jupus- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna skip through all of that. Stories about Rob. You can, pa you can pause it so we can actually do the reading and research for you, Repsil. Yes, this is a call out post. This is Rob Gavigan. Um, the one I worked for, I was afraid to speak up about this and was debating myself. Because he's a large content creator, I'm very small. <laughs> Aren't they all? They're always small. They're always smaller than who they're calling out. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but I think ultimately, if I don't speak on it or wait for someone else to speak on it, uh, I'll, it'll get really out of hand. Will it? What will get out of hand? I refuse to take part in keeping this his secret in any way. Because I think I think it's wrong. This information is brand new to me, so here it is. So it's brand new to you. So who told you? Who divulged this information? I do not want this to happen. To his other fans or co-workers, first off, let me say he was addicted to pills as recently as last year. Oh no. <laughs> How nice of you to reveal that to the public. Someone has an addiction problem that they're trying to keep private because they probably have a, a shame complex about it. But you're just like, he, he's been addicted to pills. How terrible. What a terrible person. No. <laughs> That does not make him terrible. Uh, that makes him an addict. Uh, and we don't even know if that's true or not, either. <laughs> Judging by the fact that you spelt think as thing, I'm guessing this is actually a young person. Excuse me. I'm burpy. Ah! Oh God! Sorry. He was addicted to pills as recently as last year. Any denial of that is false, and he has been on them for a long time. Oh, you should be ashamed, Rob Gavigan, for being human, for having vices and having problems. How dare you? <laughs> he needs help, and I think he won't get it unless someone says something. Well, that someone is you. Good for you. You decided to be that someone. He needs help, and I think he won't get it unless someone says something. He started taking again in late last year, and he's been, and he was very supportive of what I was going through. He was a good friend for years, even though we'd never spoken over voice chat slash phone. He would always make some excuse about it. In a way, I thought I was he was a catfish without being a catfish. Something was off, but I didn't know why. Recently, 
I had mentioned to him that I still, that I still owed $1,000 on my tooth removal bill and that was trying to sell, and that I was trying to sell dresses to help pay for it. He knew he was, he knew what he was about to say was really risky and kept saying things that would seem like I would hate him after he asked. What does that mean? What is, what is, <laughs> this is so convoluted. What the hell? Well, I mean, the fact that you're even like sharing that you're getting a thousand dollar tooth removal is very manipulative in itself. Hello, Daniel. Like, why are you telling him that? Bit out of place, isn't it? Recently, I mentioned to him that I, I still owed a thousand dollars on my tooth removal bill and that I was trying to sell my dresses to help pay for it. To him, he knew he was about to say, he knew what he was about to say was very risky and kept saying things that would seem like I would hate him after he asked. That makes no sense. Like what you just said makes no sense. He then asked me to secretly send him nudes because I trusted him and I've known him for a long time and that it would be super secret. Right. Evidently not. <laughs> Years ago, when we first met, I had a crush on him and thought we w could be together. Let me guess, that didn't happen? But he told me that we couldn't because we were going on in different paths, which is his right, by the way. <laughs> this was weird because we were both on social media trying to do things and I thought we lined up pretty well. Turned out he had a secret fiancé at the time that he never told me about. I found out about this by accident shortly after and lost interest in him romantically. I thought we were friends enough. You know, you know what? <laughs> Look, I get it. I get it. Can I just say, people who cheat are shitty. I get it. People that lie about being single and... Uh, you know, sleep around and, and manipulate people. Like, they, they exist. And sometimes normal people do that. <laughs> <clears throat> However, that's not illegal. <laughs> this is private stuff that shouldn't be online. Can I just say? It shouldn't be online. And the fact that you're putting it online, uh, that you're putting information about um, Robert Gavigan's alleged... Said the word pill addiction. Um, I, I, I think it's disgusting. <laughs> I know that's not going to be a popular opinion, but like all of this, everything you've said so far is, I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to it. I know how to read. Wouldn't have been. Technically, okay. I thought we were friends enough where we could have just, he could have just told me that, but he worded it in a weird way where he wouldn't have been technically lying about it, just that we were going in different paths. How is that any of your fucking business? I said I needed <laughs> to think about it because last time I was interested in him, he had a secret fiance and I didn't know about it and it made me upset. Uh, he told me that if it would be his fault and that I wouldn't be a homewrecker. Okay. Ultimately, I told him no and that I was still dealing with past relationship trauma and if I was to be in a relationship in the future, I would tell them about it because I would tell them so. Tell them and, and so my whole life story. <clears throat> what? <laughs> also, I wasn't comfortable with this because I like closeness to be in a relationship. I don't care about your relationship. You're throwing someone under the bus. Like, I don't care about what you want in a relationship because you're anonymous. You're, you're a nothing person. <laughs> I, I like closeness in, to be in a relationship for that kind of thing. And this just seemed like a strictly sex thing. So you were, you were, you just acknowledged that it was a strictly sex thing. 
And I felt weird about it, especially in this moment in my life where I really need, need genuine love and compassion. Well, that's your fucking preference. That's not his fault. <laughs> I mean, he's shitty. If he, treated, if he cheated on his fiance, that's shitty. But, like, it's not his responsibility to align with your needs. He's not required to change for you. That's, that's an instant, like, recipe for a toxic relationship. Can I just say? The non-relationship, even though it was a strictly sex thing that you just said. And I said it was okay and not to worry and that... Okay. <laughs> you said it was okay and not to worry. <clears throat> well, that was his first mistake, trusting that. Because clearly it was not okay and he should have been worried because now you're spilling all of this out onto the internet. Uh, <laughs> not to worry about it. And he would still help in any other way he could. I got uncomfortable with the idea of work, still working with him after that, after this and politely told him that I couldn't work with him anymore. He didn't respond to me after, uh, at all after I said that. Okay, well, that's his serious preference. And Hongande, thank you so much. I used to like Rob. It pains me to reveal all of this. No, it doesn't. No, it fucking doesn't. <laughs> Everything you've just outlined is private information, potentially private information, if it's even accurate. If it is accurate, that makes you a shitty person. That doesn't make, that doesn't make you a victim. <laughs> that, that doesn't make you uh, a, a, you know, a hero. It doesn't make you anything. It makes you a shitty person that revealed private information. None of that <laughs> should have been released to the public. None of it. I used to like Rob, so you don't anymore, so fuck him, and let's, let's reveal all this private information about him. So it pains me to reveal all this. It doesn't pain you at all. I've defended him in the past and told people he was a good person. This was before I knew the truth about everything he hid from me. I found out that he does this to a lot of women, and I was shocked. Really? He flirts with a lot of women? <clears throat> I need water. Just one second. <laughs> I always think it's funny when, when someone comes out. You can always tell. I, I don't know. This is just me personally. And it's not accurate. Like, it might not be accurate. But I always find that when people come out and they try to be virtuous or play the victim or something like that, and they completely miss the mark, and you can see th straight through this. You can really tell that they're manipulative. Because <laughs> immediately after reading all that, I'm just like, so you revealed all this private information about him without his consent. And it, and it makes sense. It makes sense that Repzilla would jump on this as well and, and provide a platform to this person because he's done this to other people. <laughs> he's done this to <laughs> Leafy Greens and... He's done this to Poppy and Marzago and, you know, <laughs> Mari. Is it Mari? Mari. Anyway, <laughs> I used to like Rob. My hair look okay. Kind of a messy, I think. And a lot of women, and I'm shocked. <laughs> a a, a warm-blooded male flirting with women. Outrageous. <laughs> I thought we were friends and I trusted him. I cried a lot because he didn't reply. <laughs> Daddy didn't reply. I'm mad. I'm going to have a tandy. <laughs> okay, I keep losing my spot. The woman, I apparently had a problem with it. I uh, didn't mind. I didn't ask. It was blah, 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 blah. was going to keep it a secret between us. Then it started to weigh on me. Why would he try to do that to me after all these years? I thought we were friends and I trusted him. I cried a lot because he didn't reply and I was worried that somehow I had ruined our relationship? <laughs> our relationship. Okay. Our relationship. One word. Um, 
I was even more shocked to find out that he has a wife and child in, in uppercase. I didn't know this the whole time he's been talking to me. You would think that this is information that you would tell your friend about. Seems like pretty big milestones in life to not talk about it. It's his prerogative if he wants to fucking talk about it. <laughs> it's his prerogative. Losing my spot. This bullshit. Uh, unless they speak up in their own terms and reveal others he's... Uh, the others he has done this to... It, like, what, what did he do? He flirted with you. He may have tried to start a relationship or something or, or, or sleep with you. Um, but he didn't pressure you into doing anything. That's what I gathered from that whole bit of information. If he did to, like, to, what he, like, if he had this interaction with other women, the same interaction that he had with you, um, that just means that he's trying to find a compatible partner, no? Or he's trying to find a fuck buddy. It's very normal adult behavior. It depends on their age. Like, I'm not really sure of their age. Particularly this one. I'm not sure about the age. <sighs> the age is the factor, isn't it, darling? I'm not sure. Unless they speak up on their own terms. And I will not reveal the others he's done this to. If everyone thinks he's a bachelor and that he's single, then he will get more opportunities to do this to other women and fans. How do you know that? How do you know that? Uh, I am saying something and speaking up because I am concerned about that child having to grow up with a father like that. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I, I mean, it's starting to look like to me, like he dodged a fucking bullet. That's what it's looking to me. Um... It is, it's definitely an abuse of power. He's a big creator and definitely uses it to get what he wants from people that idolize him. I know that it's not illegal, but there's something very wrong with it. And I'm tired of people holding him up as if he is this god. He's human. He needs help. Hopefully he is redeemable. He has done a lot of good things, but I can't overlook this. I hope the best... I, I hope the best for him. You mean you wish the best for him. I hope the best for him. And I hope he turns into the person that he betrayed to me. So, in other words, he didn't commit a crime and you revealed a shitload of private information that he did not consent to. Correct? <clears throat> That's what I would call an abuse of power. <laughs> Funny that. <clears throat> Funny that. Sorry about my drinking noises. Very dry throat. Pause to read the whole tweet longer. <laughs> Jupus says that she decided to speak out because she didn't want this to happen to any other pe people. So, she that, says so that was Jupus. <laughs> that was Jupus. Fantastic. Love it. Refused to take part in keeping his secret in any way because I think it's wrong. She also says that he was addicted to pills as recently as late last year. Any denial of that is... Any denial of that is false and he has been on them for a long time. What a nice thing to do to reveal that information to the public. It's false and has been on them for a long time. Opiate is a very difficult thing to overcome as some pills will... Okay, Rep Silla. <laughs> Public service announcement, announcement time. <coughs> Addiction's really bad. Repzilla, 2021. <laughs> Fuck. Get into your blood system, and it will take a week of withdrawals to get rid of them. But then in other situations, some of those appeals seep into your bones and can take up to months. And most people that become entrapped... How is this relevant? How is this relevant? Repzilla. Opioids soak into your bones. Thanks for the random fact. It's really not relevant. We haven't even established that he is even on opioids. So, so why are we explaining? 
this stuff? Very strange. Trapped in this type of... They do not get off them. She says that he needs help, and I think he won't get it unless someone says something about it. Jupus said that they were good friends for years, but they never spoke on the telephone, and every time that she would attempt to try to do that, he would make up excuses, saying, I thought he was a catfish with... He has got... He's gotten no obligation to speak on the telephone with people. My mods, I, I have the same thing with my mods. Like, I'm working up to eventually maybe being able to chat with them. But I'm, I I'm have terrifying so, like, social anxiety. Not good. <laughs> and thank you, mods, for respecting that and being patient with me. I really appreciate that. Thank you for not being entitled and, and, and assuming and, and just assuming that and demanding that I have a telephone conversation with you when I not, don't feel comfortable. Rob Gavigan is not required to have a telephone conversation with this random doopy spoopy uh, online, who, whatever, whatever her fucking name is. The entitlement of people is unbelievable. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, here's the thing. I'm here to look at this situation and actually give you a perspective that I think is realistic and down to earth. And maybe identify where a narrative is being spun. And a narrative is being spun here that men flirting with girls bad. <laughs> men in a... Men... <laughs> man who has fiancé flirting with girls is bad. Not illegal. <laughs> also, this is private info. So I, I don't know. I feel like the abuse of power is whoever's running this post, and the abuse of power is also, by extension, Rebzilla, because he's propelling this information into the stratosphere, this private information, repeatedly. Um, and obviously, I, I have no doubt that you people, people have seen the Primix video on Rebzilla. You'll see that he is right, quite prolific uh, in terms of releasing private details without consent. Ripzilla does this a lot. <sighs> without being a catfish. It's not safe for men to flirt with girls in this day and age. Uh, it's, it's, it's getting that way. It's, it's a different... It's different to being a woman. Because obviously, this is why it's so enraging... This sort of stuff, um, because those power dynamics, they do exist. They do exist. And, you know, there are shitty men out there that will take advantage of women because they're not as physically strong, for one. And to some degrees, they are vulnerable. And there is that unfair power dynamic. But also, there's the unfair, unfair power dynamic of a woman having power over something a power over a man's a man's reputation <laughs> because in this current day and age we just we believe accusations when they come out it is guilty until proven guilty <laughs> like there is no there is no middle ground like once you have accusations come out against you about any of this stuff your your life's over your life's ruined your job's gone everything's gone it's done you know? So there is an unfair power dynamic on both sides. It's just different. You know what I mean? My throat is so dry. I don't know why. Oh my god. Joy. He ducks me too. And I had his video about me removed from YouTube, he ripped off Repsion's second video and had just spread lies and used my full name and info. Yeah, he, has, he does have a, uh, a reputation for doing that sort of stuff. I've noticed. Hello, my love. How are you doing? Something was off about it, but I didn't know why. She said that he went on to ask her a question, but before he did, he let her know that he knew what he was about to ask was really risky, and that he thought that maybe she would hate him for it. He then asked me to secretly sell him inappropriate images because I trusted him, and I've known him for a long time.
He then asked me to secretly sell him nudes because I trusted him and I've known him for a long time. Here's the, here's the double standard that's really interesting. It's like we have OnlyFans, we have all this sort of stuff, right? All this sort of stuff. And so he's trying to solicit nudes, allegedly, um, from this girl called Jupa or whatever her name is. And he's offering her money <laughs> to do that, allegedly. I get that that might be uncomfortable, but also, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone offered me $1,000 for naked photographs. I'd go for it. Yeah, absolutely, darling. Absolutely. But look, I'm not encouraging uh, that type of thing. That's fine. I get that that's controversial, but only fans, right? I don't know. I just think releasing this information in the way that you did is incredibly irresponsible and also just very disrespectful. And this really is something that should have stayed in the oven for a bit longer because if he is trying to solicit nudes from people and, and there's an unfair power dynamic and all that sort of thing, surely if you really care about this situation, you actually care about exposing him, you would wait a lot longer to establish a lot more evidence and information about this. Because it's serious, right? This is so half-baked and it screams, we got to get the spin out there as soon as possible to make the most amount of AdSense and the mo gain the most amount of traction we can. That's what it screams to me. This screams, I don't care about this situation at all. I don't care about the truth. I just want to put a narrative out there. Rob Gavigan apparently abuses power. Do we know this for a fact? No. What are we, what are we, what is our evidence? What are we going on? Random fucking Twitter account called Jupy, or whatever her fucking name is. Again, I've forgotten her name, but like, you can't just come out onto the internet and say things about people and say they're addicted to pills and say that they try to solicit nudes and say all this stuff. You can't just come out in here and say that without backing it up. It's, Fucking slander. You, you realize that? <laughs> like, I don't... I... <laughs> yeah, I keep saying this, and I keep speaking out against cancel culture, and I, I keep making these points. And it does get redundant after a while, because I keep saying the same fucking thing. You can't just come out and say shit about people without establishing it as fact. And that it would be super secret. She goes on to talk about how she had feelings for Rob and was thinking that their relationship was moving to something a little bit more serious. But he said that they couldn't be together because they were on different paths, which was weird to her because they were both on social media attempting to make careers. And honestly, that does seem like a very similar paths. I mean, that is the same path. It turns... <laughs> which means... <laughs> it seems really strange that they, they weren't in relationship, you know? <laughs> yeah! How dare he not be in a relationship with her because they do similar things online. What a weird <laughs> expectation. Yeah, attempting to make careers. And honestly, that does seem like a very similar paths. I mean, that is the same path. But he said that they couldn't be together because they were on different paths, which was weird to her because they were both on social media attempting to make careers. Different paths could mean anything. <laughs> different paths could mean like, you're not my type. It's like that random woman that came online said uh, that said that people whose preferences was skinny people were fat phobic. Like that. It's just like <laughs> no. It's just that they're attracted to skinny people. Like it's not phobic. It's just a preference, and that could literally mean anything. Like that's what I mean. Like you could easily make this narrative whatever you would like. Careers, and honestly, that does seem like a very similar past. I mean. Seems like a really similar, yeah, career choice. Yeah, attempting to make careers. And honestly, that does seem like very similar. Because they were on different paths, which was- <laughs> They were different paths. And yeah, it's like, they, surely they should be on the same path because they do similar things artistically. <laughs> what? Weird to her because so they were strange. both on social media attempting to make careers. And honestly, that does seem like a very similar path. I mean, that is the same path. It turns out that he had a secret fiance at the time and he never told me about it. I found out about this by accident and shortly after I lost interest romantically. She says that she thought that they were friends enough to where 
this would have come up at some point, but it never did. She says, I thought we were friends enough to where he could have just told me that, but he worded it in weird ways, where he wouldn't have been technically lying about it, just to say that we're going on different paths. Sorry, he was discreet. He was tactful. Discretion and tactics, two things which you do not harbor, it would seem. <laughs> <clears throat> Rob attempted to still pursue some type of relationship with Jupus, regardless of him being, uh, you know, having a whole family at home. I said I needed to think about it because last time I was interested in him, he had a secret fiance. I didn't know about it and it made me upset. He told me that it would be his fault and I wouldn't be a homewrecker. Ultimately, I told him no. She said that she felt the way Rob was putting this out here, it was strictly... So, he got consent from you. He was like, yeah, let's have a relationship. And you were like, no. And he was like, okay. What a monster. <laughs> what a fucking monster. Thing, and she was not mm. into that. She wanted something that had a little bit more substance within a relationship, that had more compassion, love, understanding, and this was not it. She said that she was uncomfortable with the idea of still working for him. <laughs> oh my god, Clit. Clit Smith. Addiction bad. Flirting bad. It's <laughs> funny. After this, and politely told him I couldn't work for him anymore. He didn't respond to me at all after I said that. Jupis goes on to say that this really hurt her and she ended up crying over this because he didn't respond. She thought sadness, intense sadness, sad feelings about life. <sighs> they were friends after all these years. <clears throat> I was even more shocked to find out that he has a wife and a child. I didn't know about this the whole time he's been talking to me. You would think that this information would be something that you would tell somebody. She says, I'm concerned about that child having to grow up with a father like that. I'm not sure on the situation with his wife or if she's okay with his behavior, but he definitely doesn't tell the women that he does this with that he's married with a child. She goes, Right. So, in other words, he might be having an open relationship, maybe. We don't know. Am I, am I talking out of my ass right now? Absolutely. Are you talking out of your ass right now? Absolutely. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> this is hardly enough to uh, constitute or justify an expose. Can I just say? It's pretty fucking piss poor. It must be a slow month. He goes on to tweet, this man straight up is trying to manipulate me in text to feel bad because he says he keeps his family secret to protect them. Nah, you're getting in Somebody got burnt. <laughs> My thoughts on this, I what I you know what I think. I what I think happened here. What I think happened here. Mrs. Jupy Jupe, or whatever her fucking name is, Jupus, I think I think she is a fucking homewrecker, and I think maybe she tried to be a homewrecker and maybe he said no, and now she's being a fucking bunny boiler about it. <laughs> That's what I think's happening. <clears throat> Once again, am I talking out of my ass? Yes. But so are you. <laughs> so are you. So are all of these people. So is Repzilla. So is Jupus. All of these people are talking out of their ass because there's no proof. There's no proof of any of this. You are just trying to destroy someone's life and you don't have any evidence and you don't care if it's true or not. You just want to put Rob Gavigan's name in a title and uh, make some correlation with abuse of power or woke social politics, and you just want to, I don't know, create a feeding frenzy. <clears throat> That's why I think it's so dangerous, the, the YouTube algorithm and, and how it can be manipulated uh, in this way. Because people can find, you know, ways to obviously break into the algorithm, that sort of thing. And unfortunately, <laughs> the algorithm, YouTube's algorithm is tailor-made to these kind of sensationalist um, exposés that aren't really exposés at all. They're just basically just bullying, uh, glorified bullying. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, established or truthful. It's just pure conjecture. And that's dangerous. It's dangerous. I, I hate existing in a world where we rely so much on conjecture, but then exactly, James Charles comes out and admits to trying to solicit photos from underage boys, and no one bats an eye. Rebzilla hasn't touched this topic. 
I think he's made one James Charles video in the last two months or something. <clears throat> anyway. Appropriate images under the guise that you're single. These women have messaged me with the same stories. It's a pattern of behavior. That's absolutely a pattern of behavior. Like, you don't... <laughs> it's absolutely a pattern of behavior. Expert Repzilla here. It's a pattern because he apparently did something and repeated it. Pattern. How could this happen to me? I made some mistakes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> he's face palming. While he's face palming, I'm gonna go get some more water. Bear with me. Boy, my, my, my throat is like razor blades. I don't know why. <clears throat> Started putting lemon juice in my water and it's delightful. Absolutely delightful. Ha! Huh. <laughs> He's face palming. I love, I love this. I might even use it for the thumbnail. Wait, this is perfect. All right. <laughs> wait, wait a second. All right. How could this happen to me? Made some mistakes. Oh god. <laughs> no, there's no porn. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> this is like, oh my god, if I get a show porn on my stream, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> How could this happen to me? Mm. You, it's like, it's one thing to say, it's one thing to keep your absolutely a pattern of behavior. <laughs> with the same stories. It's a pattern of behavior. That's absolutely. <laughs> Donating monies to stop the Lilith hair. Thank you. And Honkin Day. Much appreciate <laughs> Please address that he's face farming and holding that freaking band. I will. Absolutely a pattern of behavior. Like you don't, you, you, it's like, it's one thing to say, it's one thing to keep your family out of the spotlight, and it's another thing to pretend that they don't exist at all. This is... <laughs> it's one thing to repeat things, even though I don't know that they're repeating behaviors that we haven't even established that they're doing, and it's another thing to keep the family members private, even though maybe he was just keeping his family life private from someone he was collaborating with. Because that's what people do online. Do I share everything about my private life online? No. Uh, is, is there a reason for that? Yeah. Because some people online are assholes. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's twisting information. Absolutely, Priya. Absolutely. <laughs> it's hilarious, this part. Like, it's almost like he's even trying to convince himself. He's just like, oh, yeah, it is a pattern. Pattern of behavior. That's absolutely a pattern of behavior. It's like, absolutely you don't, a pattern. You, you, it's like, yeah. it's one thing <sighs> to say, it's one thing to keep your family out of the spotlight. And it's, it's another thing. To it's one thing to keep your family out of the spotlight. And it's another thing to hide them. How do you know it's not just them, him keeping them out of the spotlight? Are you going to like provide a reason why you believe it's the other thing? Not the one thing? the other thing, which is intentionally hiding them from all these women, you know? All these women he's flirting with. <laughs> A young Casanova, Rob Gavigan. To pretend that they don't exist at all. This is like a millions, millions and millions of sub YouTuber and uh, no one knows he's got like a whole family. Like even the- <laughs> Oh my God. There are some actors, there, the, there, there are some actors out there that have partners that don't want to be in the public spotlight, so they aren't. I'm trying to think of an example. Hugh Jackman's kind of one, I guess. You don't really see his wife a lot, to my knowledge, anyway. 
But this, there are a few. <laughs> anyway. No one knows he has a whole family? I know, it's just like, oh my god. He was clearly hiding that. That was intent-based. You don't know that. You don't know that, Rebzilla. You don't know fucking anything. <clears throat> That's totally a pattern. <laughs> no, it's fucking not. <laughs> Google results. Google actually says that his personal life is a mystery as he's not known to have had a wife and he's not mentioned any love interests in conversations. In <laughs> oh my god. He's asking Google. Great. It might be safe to say that the internet celebrity is single. I ask Google too on streams, but like, I'm kind of being sarcastic about it. I hope that comes across. Single. Jupus goes on to post a screenshot of a... <laughs> Evidence. ...text message from Rob where she says married men with families don't send stuff like this to women. He says, okay, here it is, my proposition. You are this person, this wicked cool person who is likely insanely attractive and stuff, and I'm this red-blooded straight guy who is nani woof ah, and I wanted to see if you'd be up for an arrangement. Oh, oh, he's horny. <laughs> <laughs> so he's having an affair. Oh no, oh no. I had to break it to you this, but men and women have affairs, guys. It's terrible, really terrible. People like me have affairs, and celebrities have affairs. Everyone's out there, rodering each other, day and night. In fact, there's probably someone rodering right now, somewhere in the world. I, I'd imagine there are a lot of people rodering right now in the world. Somebody's rodering out there. Somebody out there's having an affair. And someone's at home, folding sheets and they blissfully unaware of it affairs aren't crimes exactly priya you know what you know what else affairs are <laughs> uh, you know what else affairs aren't i mean they aren't anyone's business they're no one's business <laughs> if someone is a serial womanizer that is not that is not a crime. Jesus Christ, you'll be able to get cancelled for fucking pooping next. It's like, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Where I pay for content, like adult content. Oh God, help me. From you, that's obviously kept, as I've stated, secret as a mf -er forever. And I help, this is really weird. And I help sp <laughs> This is really weird. <laughs> Consenting adults proposing to share nudes with each other? It's really weird. <laughs> it's so weird, Rapzilla. It's so weird uh, that you tried to ruin a woman's life uh, when she had, what was it? Oh, that's right, mental illness. And you supposedly weren't aware of it. <laughs> it's so weird. I seek out to see the good in people, no, never the bad. I am a very compassionate person. So I had an interview with uh, Leaf, Leafy, and I previously did not know that her mental health was not well enough to do that interview. Um, you did know. You did, you did so much research on her, in fact, that you later were sending creators dirt you found on her. <laughs> And it's also so weird that you sent private information out to other drama channels as so as just to, to create an orgy of like coverage to just like really intensify the bullying that she was going through. And you also mentioned that you didn't want your name mentioned in any of these videos. It's so weird. <sighs> really? Really, I can't. Speed along your progress to get stuff paid and on your way and stuff like that. And if you're totally not down for this, that's totally okay. I would never- If you're not down for this, that's totally okay. So he's like literally even asking for consent. Sure, is this a bit forward? But we don't know the context of the situ- like the conversation. What's happened before this conversation? What's happened after it? 
This is not something that you'd be telling the public. This is something you'd be telling his fiance, maybe reaching out to his fiance and being like, hey, so your fiance tried to solicit nudes from me and I feel uncomfortable and I think you should know. That's what should be happening. <laughs> you shouldn't be going to Repzilla and giving him, I don't know, a spin. <laughs> Priya, none of our business. Exactly. Like, I, it's pretty much common sense, common decency. People have privacy. It's, even if what they are doing is morally objectionable, they still deserve privacy. I don't know. I think this is, I think this is wrong. And I would, I say the same thing about New Idea or Woman's Weekly or any of these magazines, publications. Um, I, 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 I've been maintaining the same opinion about them for years, the way that they go after celebrities and uh, break them down psychologically over years and years and years. Like, obviously, Britney Spears is a perfect example. And yet we have people, creators like Repzilla, who are essentially the new generation of these tabloids, but they're the moral gatekeepers. They've taken on that role. So they... They get to tell you what is wrong and what is right now, as well as exploit people's privacy and expose them. That's a really concerning thing about this, is that they've taken on an extra role, you know. They're not just reporting on this information and letting you come to your own conclusion. They're telling you what the conclusion should be. And this is all being pandered to children, obviously. <laughs> Look, I get it. I can't really prove that, but obviously I feel like his audience would be young. I don't know. I'm talking on my ass there a little bit. I'll be honest. <laughs> Ever pressure you in any way whatsoever, and you obviously don't have to answer now. This is really not good because this is one of his employees on his staff. Like... This is really not not good. <laughs> Thank you, detective. Love it. This is something you you don't say, and not to mention that he's married and has. This a wife. is the the thing that you don't say publicly. Yes, I agree, Repzilla. Well done. My kid. Shame. I just wanted to go ahead and add this in here. <laughs> oh, shame. Yeah, you should be ashamed, Repzilla. You should be ashamed. Good call. My throat is sufficiently lubricated, darling. And like, there's OnlyFans. Like, you can support workers. You don't have to, like... It's just so odd to go after, like, the your fans and your employees. Well, clearly they were more than an employee, weren't they? People have met their life partners at workplaces. This is a thing that happens. And clearly, 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 <laughs> something like that was happening, right? He may have been having an affair. He may have been being a naughty boy. Is that any of our business? No. Are we kink shaming? Because <laughs> sending nudes is a bit of a kink. So, Ripzilla, are we kink shaming? Like, what, what's, what is this? Did you know that you can go to OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah, but like, I don't want to see a stranger's dick. I want to see my life partner's dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, don't, I, I'm not going crazy here. I feel like, I feel like this is all very much common sense. And it, sometimes, I don't know, I can't help but be a sarcastic shit because it's just so obvious. To, to me. I don't know. And to you, I assume. <laughs> the Incepts was made for this, Mike. Embrace the skin. I will. I will. And it's, that's not cool. 
And then somebody quotes tweets saying, retweeting this again because not only does he have a wife and a child, but they struggled for years to conceive and the poor woman nearly passed away during her pregnancy. He told me this himself and this is how he repays her. One user said, You don't even know if this is true or not. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Anna Elizabeth, you don't even know if this is true or not. This is so wrong because like, he, like, had a wife and she struggled with childbirth. Do you, did you, do you think she really wants this to be public info? Anna? Anna? Do you, do you really think that she wants this to be out there? Oh, my Lord. Hello, Bella. Uh, Hannah, look, it's very nice that you want to step up on your soapbox and tell everyone how terrible this is and... and disassociate yourself from the behavior, which I feel like a lot of virtue signaling is that. It's, it's trying to dis disassociate some part of yourself from a scenario, right? And I struggled for... Not only does he have a wife and child, but they struggled for years to conceive and the poor woman nearly died during her pregnancy. I don't think that's something that you should be sharing publicly. That's very personal. Hannah, I don't know. That's just my opinion. But fuck me, I guess. <laughs> One user saying, and I didn't think it could have been worse than it was. Wow. An anonymous person posted. Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> Why? Their story saying, I've known Rob for over 10 years, so you can imagine I've had my fair share of experiences with him. Going on to say that she sent inappropriate images of herself to Rob on multiple occasions, and he did offer to pay for them. Like the majority of people, I believe Rob. I think that's really nice. <laughs> lots of people, lots of people get nudes and they don't get paid for them. <laughs> lots of people send nudes and they don't get paid for them. Have you been on Grindr recently? People are sending nudes left and right. But this is very normal behavior. This is very normal behavior among consenting adults, particularly in the, the, Bad. Ugh, gay community. <laughs> In the gay community, like, this happens all the time. Sending nudes to each other. This is not, this is not an, a, a weird thing. <laughs> this is not a weird thing. <clears throat> and they could be having trouble in their marriage. Who knows what's going on? Who knows what's going on? You don't know. This is their private business. This is their private shit. <clears throat> Oh, just like these people want to be moral gatekeepers like Rebzilla and other creators like this, that they just run with narratives, Edwin's generation. They want to be moral gatekeepers, but they have no clue or understanding or inclination of boundaries. They don't understand. It's very odd. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? I hate this automatically guilty because someone throws out an allegation without proof. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. And you're like, I'm not going to swallow it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to go. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to let you feed me shit and say, mm, that's tasty. No. No, these are like this is a serious thing that you're implying about someone. You have to actually prove this. And if you can't prove it, you're in trouble. Bob <laughs> uh. was a single man. Now knowing that we had inappropriate conversations whilst his wife and child were probably in the same room makes me feel sick. Another person You don't know that either if they were in the same room. Like once again, you don't know anything about his situation. You only just found out he had a family. Allegedly. He might not even have a family. This could all be, all be lies. <laughs> It'd be so funny if Rob Gavigan came out and he was like, um, I don't have a family. I don't have a child. I don't have a wife. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> mm. It's, it's, it's hilarious. They don't. They can't establish any of this at all.
Austin's story and solidifying a pattern of behavior. I became friends with Rob in January 2018. He started talking to me on his Discord server and protected me from dangerous people. Going on to say that they chatted about perverted stuff and occasionally he asked her for uh, racy photos. Nothing was off limits. Many of our conversations would become increased. Okay, here's one thing I will say is if this conduct was going on, I still maintain that Discord and other apps that are not relationship or dating based shouldn't you should not be requesting nudes on them you know it's one thing i will say i don't think it's appropriate it's it's not it's not a dating app discord is not a dating app these things are not dating apps like i don't know that's one thing i will say Increasingly inappropriate. I thought it was fun and flirty banter. This is inappropriate. I thought it was fun and flirty banter for two single people. Well, yeah, generally, you know, that's, that's what it is. The fact that he's not single is not <laughs> affecting you in any way. <laughs> that's the thing that's really weird about this is that, oh, I thought it was just fun, flirty banter for two single people. Yeah, but like, for you, it was that. It's fun, flirty ba banter for two single people. So you're a single person, you had fun, flirty banter, and you're single. That hasn't changed. <laughs> so you, this has not affected you in any way. Like, at literally ever. Like, at, at all. You know what I mean? It's just odd. Banter for two single people. The nature of our conversation. Does, this, does, this, does that make sense? Do you, know, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you're having fun, flirty banter with someone, and it turns out that they're not single, you still have that fun, flirty banter, and you're still, still single. So it hasn't actually affected you in any way. The only thing that has changed is that this person is now in a relationship. You know what I mean? Jess Carter, they've gone insane because they can't get him for talking to underage fans. This is no one's business. It doesn't matter. He has a wife. What's the big deal exactly? Exactly. <laughs> this is private shit. This is private. This is no one's business. Literally no one's business. Relations are something I strongly prefer never to have with a married man. As soon as I found out the truth, I was in shock. How could he do this to his family, to his wife? Another person How could that he do this? to his family that I only just found out existed. How, how could he do this? <laughs> the shame. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> it's so bizarre. In 2016, they would Snapchat. He would flirt with me, compliment me, and reassure me when my mental health would suffer. Clearly, I did have feelings for him, but I never thought I had a chance with him considering our nine-year age gap and distance. He had a way of making me feel special, even though I figured he was this kind with all of his female fans. Now that I have heard from numerous former fans, I see a recognizable pattern of him seeking to talk to his female fans, befriending them, and soliciting them for inappropriate images. So, is that appropriate? No. Is it legal? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Former fans, from, now that I've heard from news fans, I recognize how he's calling to his female fans, bef befriending them and soliciting them for nudes. And even more than that. So they're not underage. They're just people that. Yeah. Here's a tip. <laughs> Here's a tip. Don't send nudes to anyone. If you don't feel comfortable with it, don't do it. Because you can't just turn around after you've been in a scenario with two consenting adults, and there is two. There are two adults in this scenario. To consenting adults. You can't send nudes to someone and then turn around and be like, he solicited nudes from me. <laughs> you sent the nudes. You sent them. It's your responsibility. Don't send nudes. <laughs> he doesn't use mind control. He's not a magician. As far as I know, Rob Gavigan is not a magician. And he did not cast a spell on you to turn you into a stupid cunt. <laughs> no offense. video and stream is demonetized now but like that's that's 
feel like you really had to put a, a full stop on that sentence. Like, really drive it home and use a word that is really going to jog people out of their sense of complacency. Don't send nudes to people and then turn around and be like, oh my god, I'm a victim. <laughs> you press send. You pressed send. Don't blame anyone. Take responsibility. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <sighs> Cheaters are cowards. Yes, they are. But you know what? <laughs> it's not a crime, and we should not be talking about it on the internet and trying to ruin someone's life. This is for them to, to sort out. It's not for the public to sort out. And the fact that someone, Doop, Doopy Doop, or whatever her name is, came out and put this information online, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's calculated. It's fucking... Ugh. It's awful. <laughs> that felt good to say. ...or even more than that. It looks to me like this is another YouTuber that was leveraging their power to get... <laughs> it looks to me like this is another YouTuber that was leveraging their power. Like, that's rich coming from Europe, though. Considering your past... It's unbelievable that you would even make that assertion. That that would even come out of your mouth. You are one of those YouTubers. <laughs> Leafy Greens. Leafy Greens. I mean, save, save, save you some time and just watch Primix video. Leafy Greens was a video. Uh, was a video. Was a channel that... And she, she was a YouTuber and she... Uh, I'm not sure if she's still around, but she talked about her mental health and all sorts of things like that. She was just a vlogger. Um, and I'm not sure the situation involved Trisha Paytas to some degree. Um, and uh, the rewired soul, there was that whole thing. Uh, and honestly, I don't know. I don't know about the whole situation. But I, what I do know, <laughs> what I do know is that Rebzilla targeted this poor woman who, who was unstable and not in a good place mentally and targeted her for that reason. There is considerable evidence out there that he did this specifically, targeted her specifically, <laughs> interviewed her, bullied her, sent private information of hers to other drama creators or commentators in an effort to get them to make videos about her as well, to expose her. And he also stipulated that he didn't want to be involved. So he wanted to be a snake in the grass, so to speak. So <laughs> that's not alleged. That's not maybe Rob Gavigan had an affair and maybe he like, tried to solicit photos and maybe, 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 maybe. It's not a maybe. This actually happened and Repzilla did this stuff. So for him to come out and say, like this is another YouTuber that was leveraging their power to get specific things from their viewers. <laughs> oh. Do not believe anything that you hear online. Don't even believe me. Don't even believe me. There's a reason I do what I do online now. I don't like doing research. And that sounds bad, right? That sounds bad off, off the hand. Like, you don't like doing research. Why? Because I like to watch videos and take them at face value. I like to go into them blind in some cases. And I am going into this blind. Apart from, obviously, doing some research on Rebzilla. You try to make it clear when you're speculating. I do. I try. It's, it's, I don't know. Don't believe me. <laughs> uh, I, I try to, to, to uh, break down videos as I watch them and, and try to think of what it's trying to tell me, the narrative that it's trying to push against me. And then I think, Oh, there's this other possibility. Oh, there's this other possibility. You know, there's a, there's a number of possibilities. They really want me to believe this one thing. 
But you know what? I'm going to give you two other things that you can think about. That's what I do. That's what I do. You know? Mostly I just say, how do you know that? Because that makes up so many videos online. You, you, there's, there's so much online and so much misinformation, you just don't know. You can't know and you can't trust it. So please do me a favor. Don't trust me. <laughs> don't trust Fripzilla. Just have a certain set of standards when it comes to boundaries, when it comes to common decency, when it comes to privacy, when it comes to evidence. Have boundaries and standards in terms of what you consume and the type of commentators that you digest. Because they do leave an imprint on you. And I, I don't want to sound condescending, because I feel like you guys don't have that problem. But there are a lot of people out there that just will watch this video and just be like, Oh my god, Rob Gavigan is terrible. <laughs> He's terrible! And that's the unfortunate thing about the internet, is that it's full of fucking idiots. <laughs> it's full of fucking idiots. And that's the thing, you know? Because there's so many fucking idiots, there is a demand for content that cages the fucking idiots. You know? But that's the thing. Here we sit, watching a video made for fucking idiots, talking about how it's made for fucking idiots, and <sighs> here we are. <laughs> Lugano, don't trust you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lou. I'm just saying, don't trust me. Think about it for yourself and come to your own conclusion. And don't assume that that conclusion is the truth, because it might not be. Always be on guard, my friends. It bothers me a lot. It bothers me a lot that he... It bothers me a lot. He was doing this to people that he was employing. That's not a good boss. That's not a... Wow. <laughs> You're talking about being a good boss? After what you did to Marnie? The guy worked for you for, year, for a year for free? And gave did research for you, and all he asked for was a credit on your video, and you fucking called him a stalker and threw him under the bus. <laughs> there's another potential screenshot here. Very tempted. Oh, there's one. Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? Oh god, there we go. <laughs> Rap. Mm. Good work relationship or environment. I'm sure that felt really bad. Um, another thing, I don't see or hear of any girls, any of these girls being underaged. So these were girls that were at the youngest 20, I believe, and show signs of an obvious pattern of behavior. And as current, Rob has not replied on any of these. <laughs> and I hope he doesn't. <laughs> Such bullshit. It, like, there's no actual wrongdoing here. I hate to say it. Like, and when I say wrongdoing, no crime. I'm sorry. Being an asshole is not illegal. I, mean, I hate to break it to you guys, but... Uh, stories, not anything about this. It's not being covered. I... I looked to see if anybody else was saying anything about this. Nobody was. So I stepped up to the plate and wanted to see what we could. <laughs> Colette Smith. I've come to the factual conclusion that Repzilla has separation anxiety over his pen and microphone. <laughs> Perfect. Do about this. I think that uh, he. I def think. Hmm. I guess. I think. Maybe. A lot of opinions here. Not a lot of substance. He's basically just gone through a couple of posts. Um, okay. Sifted through some conjecture, and now he's just saying, I think that this about this. Great. Definitely owes an apology to his family for sure. I go to. <laughs> he definitely owes an apology to his family for sure. Even though we don't even know if he has a family. 
or if they're on good terms, or what the situation is, or, or the context at all. But he owes them an apology, according to Repzilla. Thank you, Repzilla. Why does he owe them an apology? Like, <laughs> they could be in an open relationship, for one. Um, there's a possibility. Um, they could be a polyamorous couple. Who knows? They could be looking for number three. Um, that's very odd. This page, and I see him speaking about uh, inappropriate behavior and commenting on it, and it just feels weird knowing that he's not responded to this or any of this at all. He's not required to, Repzilla. You haven't acknowledged any of your past behavior, so... I mean, you've just deleted the videos and just pretended, stuck your fingers in your ear and just pretended that it didn't happen. I would like to hear a reply from him about this. If anybody else out there has... Jess Carter. They are. The wife knows. And Repzilla knows this. They are what? <laughs> Jess, see, it's like he's disappointed there are no underage people. Yeah, they, it really is. <laughs> it's so funny. The dude's employee has reached out to him. They have an arrangement. All right. I don't know. I don't want to know. Like, this, that's the thing. Like, I don't even need to know this stuff. All I need to know is that no crime's been reported. The only bad thing or morally objectionable thing about this video I've seen so far is that someone's private information has been revealed. And it's really kind of gross, you know. Has any experiences with Rob Gavigan, formerly Rob Dyke, then you can uh, DM me on Instagram. Give me a couple days to get back with you, but you will hear back from me. And, uh, and Honka Day. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Appreciate it. Everybody stay safe out there, and I will keep up with updates on this. <laughs> everybody, everybody keep up. Everybody keep safe out there. <laughs> I will give you updates about this. <laughs> oh, my God. And Honka Day, you got you, Mikey. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I had a making my making my evening. Because as interesting as this is, it's always something more interesting to me. That's right, you guys. I don't know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. What fucking useless video. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, I remember... <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, the video? No, it wasn't. It wasn't good at all. <laughs> well, I've watched a lot of this guy's uh, true crime videos. Um, Would have never thought anything of this. It is very weird that he goes out of his way to keep his family secret. It, it, not just secret, it's... Why is it weird? He has to contend... Like, the internet has to contend with people like you. Why wouldn't you? And you're revealing private information left and right about people. I mean, why wouldn't he keep things private? People like you exist. <laughs> That's why he was keeping it private. It's like, I understand not putting him in a spotlight or talking about him. Um, Which is what he's doing, potentially. But it's then you're going to solicit inappropriate images. That's not good. That's not good behavior. Solicit inappropriate images. Who says that they were solicited and not entirely consensual? Solic <laughs> Soliciting images doesn't mean necessarily mean that they were solicited without consent. Like, these were grown adults that were sending nudes. Don't send nudes. Don't think I have to pull out that word again to really put a, put a point on it, but like, 
don't send nudes. If you don't want to send nudes, don't send nudes. Especially if you're an adult. <laughs> at all. I am really sleepy. Are you sleeping well? Hey, make- I'm fucking sleepy after that video. Rapzilla, I'm very sleepy, darling. Make sure you're sleeping good because it makes you feel better mentally. Look at all, look at all these vegetables. <laughs> oh god, I hope no one's in there that is watching the video. Mm. Well, drink water. And thank you to my patrons. If you uh, want to support me here on this channel and become a member of my Patreons and get your name at the end of my videos, the link will be in the pinned comment. I want to thank everybody that's donated to the fundraiser. We are currently over 80% of the way to go. We're about to get it, and I'm really proud of this. It means a lot. If you have donated, let me know in the uh, comment section below. The fundraiser is... No. I will get to find out what the fundraiser is for. What's the fundraiser for? It means a lot. If you have donated, let me know in the... Uh, comment section below. The fundraiser is to the right of me on desktop, below me on mobile. And it's just so everybody show this your repetition, 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 how you do that. I can do subscribe, notification, turn on, be in the comment section to every single video because I'm going to be there. What is and thank the, you to my patrons. If you uh, want to support me here on this channel and become a member of my Patreons and get your name at the end of my videos, the link will be in the pinned comment. I want to thank everybody that's donated to the fundraiser. We are currently over 80% of the way to go. We're about to get it. And I'm really proud of this. Get what? It means a lot. If you have donated, let me know in the. What is the, what is the fundraiser for? The, uh, the comment section below. The fundraiser is to the right of me on desktop, below me on. <laughs> Daniel, who was sending money to this eggplant? <laughs> who was sending money to this aubergine? <laughs> Other aubergine. Mm. Mobile. Mm. And it's just nobody show that you're repping. You're repping. You're getting subscribe notification. Turn on. Be in the comment section to every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there and the rest of the Reptile community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. I do not consent to this love, Repzilla. What's this at the end? What was he saying about Rob? Because this end? channel loves Rob, that's not, that's, that's no good, man. Rob, nah, it's not good, man. <laughs> What's not good? Existing, apparently. Having privacy. Being a naughty boy. I, I don't know. Like, that... Fucking hell. People watch this unironically. It's like, I just watched it unironically. Ugh. Let's read the comments. Please no, not another creator I grew up with. I truly can't handle this much deception. My teen heart is weeping. <laughs> Catherine Coppola. Hearing things like this breaks my heart and disgusts me. I really hope that this isn't another situation like Destry Smith. What? A situation like Destry Smith where it all turned out to be like bullshit? Yeah. Where he makes a shitty apology video and then acts like it never happened again. What? What would you have him do? Catherine? Uh, it's real. It's it's weird. Just the judgment, the judgment coming from people who are just as flawed and just as fucked up, is bizarre to me. <laughs> it's bizarre to me. I'll I'll look at his hearted comments because I think that's really interesting. The ones that he's hearting. What now? That's not something I was expecting from Alex the Rainbow. Poor family and the women he's manipulated into giving him photos and their feelings. Vomit emoji. When will people learn? People talk. Come on. <laughs> he's manipulated into giving him photos. Here's the thing. They were not manipulated. They were idiots and they sent photos. They made the decision themselves. They were consenting adults. There was no manipulation at hand. <laughs> they just gave him photographs. God. God. I mean, what that uh, can I just say? 
That that Gavigan dick must be magical. Can I just say? <laughs> like, like, the dude's clearly a pussy magnet. Like, the, the, it, a lot a lot is happening here. <sighs> Are all these people just ignoring, like, the fact that uh, Repzilla has engaged in similar manipulative contact? <laughs> well, guys, that uh, was reasonably soul-destroying. I don't know about you. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> and I suppose we'll see you in the next one. It's all about humanity. About humanity. About it's all about humanity.